not gonna cry. I'm gonna miss the goats a lot. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. Time to heal, yet still you fight with what you're told. Hey, little ones. You're not so little anymore, are you? Hi. Billy, Tushy. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> hey, Billy. You're doing a great job, bud. Make it look easy. That was probably good. There we go. I'm gonna miss you guys. Hi, Billy. You're so sweet. Tushy. Hey. Oh, oh. Tushy doesn't know what's going on. You were sliding a little bit, Mama. I'm sorry. There you go. Billy. Look, there you go. There's you some feed. All right, we're gonna go get your babies, okay? Like they know what I'm saying. Hey guys. I'm gonna miss you on the farm. Oh look. You wanna know what my favorite memory was? The first time we had babies last year. And we saw them popping around in the yard for the first time. You remember that? Mm -hmm. That was my favorite part. I'm gonna miss you, even though you were the most stubborn goat of them all. All right, ready? Let's do it. First time ever driving the cattle trailer yeah. out of the house, not just around here and parking it. How's it feel? How are you feeling? Good. Good? You a little nervous? Mm -hmm. yeah, I was super nervous first time I did it. What? I said and first time with animals in it. Oh yeah, and with animals in it. So with our driveway, you want to make sure that you turn wide turn so it can get hard. Alright? Yes. Back there we got all the goats loaded down. Yep, that's okay, you didn't hit it. All right, now you only got 30 seconds to get out the gate. Don't rush though. You wanna swing out just a little bit farther and then turn into the gate and drive over to the right side so you don't hit the left side of the gate. Pay attention to your trailer in the back. Oh, you're good. You're good, keep going. You got this, look at you. You good? No. Make a wide turn, wide turn. And dad will get the gate for us. Okay. Just hit the button and he'll make sure it closes. See, look at that, you got us out. <laughs> That's real country boy stuff right there. Yeah. My airman is stuck, it won't turn. You want the lady with the gimp arm? I don't think this one turns. There it goes. It does. Yeah, look, there's other one just Yeah, it was just stuck. Got it. Now make sure you stay on your side of the road whenever you're passing somebody. Especially because you have a trailer.
Well, you guys, the time has unfortunately come. It is time to take the goats to a new home. Can't wait for them uh, to go and live happy lives. But we are on our way to drop these guys off and we will see you when we get there. We had to pull off because I need dishwasher soap, but because I'm so crippled, I didn't feel like climbing out of the big truck. So I was like, boys, go inside. Can you go get this for me? So let's see if they come back with the right stuff. Yesterday, Devin did really good. I sent him in for salt for the water softener and he did great. He was able to go and get it just fine and he actually got the right kind. So hopefully, I showed him a couple pictures on my phone. Hopefully they'll know which ones to get and they'll come back with something decent. I'm trusting them. <laughs> Let's try this again since I pulled way too far forward. Having fun over there? The boys got the correct dish soap, dishwasher soap. At first, Devin wanted to get the Dawn dish soap and I was like, no, please don't. We have plenty of that. That's gonna cause a huge disaster. I've heard some very funny stories about people putting Dawn dish soap inside their dishwasher and then flooding their kitchen with soap suds. So I was really happy. I was like, no, dishwasher soap. And he got the right kind. I'm so proud of them. This is nice. I'm gonna start letting him drive me everywhere go into the store for me everywhere. I'm not gonna have to do anything anymore. Having older kids is great, guys. <laughs> All right. Cookies and cream. You got cookies and cream. What'd you get, Devin? Peanut butter. I can't reach. So inside the Texan, they've got this little machine. You pick out which milkshake you want and you put it in a little cup thing and it blends it to your liking. So you got Oreo cookies and cream. That's a good one. All right, our drive is almost over with. Yep. Almost back home. Goats are dropped off. Excited for uh, the people that these goats are going to get to bless. We really, really enjoyed having them on the farm. I'm actually really sad. I'm trying not to cry my eyes out. I have loved every moment of it. It's just here lately we have had a lot of struggles with the goats. Either they're just getting into everything or we've had a lot of parasite issues. You know, we lost rip to parasite issues, which you know, it, it's bound to happen once they get into older age, they just can't fight it off. But it was just a lot. And you know, with us looking for a new piece of property and new land, we were like, well, I think it's time for us to move on from goats and we're talking about getting another animal. So we're really excited about that. Y'all keep a close eye out. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the goats a lot. They had personality. And like I said earlier, my favorite all time memory with them was the first time we let those babies out last yeah. year and they were just hopping all over the place. I've always seen videos of it, but I did not expect it to be that cute or that great in person. Do y'all have some favorite memories? Mm, I don't know. Probably that memory, huh? Yeah. yeah, that was when they were the best and I will never ever forget it. First time meeting goats ever when we were, uh, went to pick them out. I was so afraid to go in there with those big things. Yeah. And now I will manhandle them. Well, I would manhandle them and hold them down and give them whatever they needed. But it's good to see them going to good homes. Hope they are a blessing to other families. We love you guys and God bless. Bye. Bye.